and uh, it doesn't give you a of the spec is minus one. So, how to solve this problem? There are lots of proposals in the literature. We are uh, maybe not completely these of proposals, at least within a super problem. So, first, the simplest idea is just to prevent electrons uh, to two paths. So, the, it can be due to the low magnetic field, to lower magnetic field, and within the connecting region. So, we will have a slow community, something close to it, or we can continuously address the right electrons, which will not allow us to, to have a fast community, or we can have a investment in magnetic community to go to make the spectrum under lower energies, more uh, exotic cases like self absorption frequency under speed. Or an isotopy of any constriction across the synchrotron, or the, there are also classic models with, uh, that try to explain the TV spectra, so 100 TV by the contrast of the dead case, you need the low energy C photons, like an optical UV. Uh, but then this model has a lot of troubles to, with uh, explaining the optical classes, and it will really very large investment of flux due to the second stack rate. The alternative solutions, the flux of models, photospheric models, where the dissipation happens within the photosphere will be low uh, with many investment of stack rates. And independent from the models, from the models, there are also range of great value components in the population spectrum, especially in the right ones, and if something is not working with a single model. And today we will also, I don't want to talk much about this one, so today we will have a talk explaining the collaboration between the photosphere model, and maybe we will find out more, more about this model to explain the computation spectrum and to deal with the composition of the jet. So, first, I will, I will talk about progress systems made the last three years in the field, and um, I will start from, from this work. That uh, question of the, the low energy capital spectrum, the condition spectrum, by including the uh, speed expert data. So, the problem here, as I was saying, in the low energy part of the condition spectrum, the absorbed one, the red one, is much higher than the, the, the fast moving. And to see and to look at the problem deeper, we need to go to lower energies and <coughs> uh, to see what's happening there. Uh, and in this work, there were collected many theories where an expert was able to cover the competition. Uh, for instance, here is an example where there is a light curve in bus, so this is a classic competition bus, because when bus goes to the rear, <coughs> in this particular example, due to the brick master, we had enough time to see this to and find the cross-serve the competition in self space. And so there are two words that connected the, the data joint and perform the joint uh, expert bar and GBM spectral analysis to characterize the spectra from uh, soft x rays to EBD energy range. So here are the examples of light curves in, in red and some XMP and blue in GBM. You see that if we are high enough, we can see that the <coughs> the brightest passes of competition and and question is this original. So the main finding of this work was the identification of the common feature is a spectral gray. Here is a, uh, an example of here the, the, the brightest pass in the XRP. Uh, here you see that the usual functions, the key functions that were used in to describe the competition spectra are not enough if you include that's uh, of extra data, and we found uh, a spectral waves. So the hard of the spectra has 220 uh, dB, and therefore we can recognize the, the spectral shades here. So we can have two low energy photoelectric to see how it works and what, what it does. So here, yeah, uh, in the first paper, there were the simple models. Uh, very simple, just uh, the bottom, additional bottom here. 
but they go to sports. <coughs> However, the lightning disorder of the two components that is trying to persuade the same feature low energy saw that happened here, which is composed by two components, uh, the brick body, which is also the kind of the photosphere, and from that moment it's usually represented by some options that are big in your field, are always going to be photons. And therefore they can be excluded. At least there are no models that represent uh, the photosphere models, not <coughs> directly the those that use the model to take the data. Um, <coughs> and this is uh, a preference to see the model in this combination. Um, then the latest results that are still not published are showing the importance of the growth rate coverage of the growth emission afterglow and the importance of the transition from the from the after. So in this example, I would just like to mention two things. First is uh, the fact that this single piece of data it also requires not only the much of the possibility with teams or because it's somewhere within uh, X-rays, high X-rays, but also very soft spectra for x So in order to have very uh, soft tail about the big energy. And uh, here you can see better uh, in your field of uh, one of the brightest spectra theory within the low energy light So uh, this is the first one, and this is the big challenge for the excavation mechanism uh, of, of particles, so evidence, most of it, because uh, these particles, so this sort of spectra cannot be produced for sure in shots. Uh, in the question, they can be produced, but not to design such high energies, uh, <coughs> at least for the simulations, for the uh, particles or simulations that we have for now. And the second point is to see the transition from the broad to the afterglow. When the left part data or S data or H data, um, there are several words that already done in this with the latest directions. Uh, and this allows us first to determine the bottom from the afterglow and connect it to the top and better characterize the part of the space of the of the initial region. So, whenever you have uh, full coverage with the volume of very high electricity, we can tell more here from the spectrum. And <coughs> let's summarize all I said. Uh, first, I want to mention that the digital part, the digital part I was saying about the, the presence of spectral grades, and they suggest by the, uh, by the spectral shape, single but this was not enough. Then, we understood that the single model actually can feed the data and uh, from to some range, and we can exclude the two components of the model from the data. I'm sorry, the rates of spectra for the organic consider responses to this. This is all within the field of framework of the single model. Then we understand the parameters that the most so also, I, here I just summarized some words for the last of us in the GDC paper. The one we mentioned very simple scenario, because we call some scenario that we have our uh, source, uh, share, big share that is the sun radius, and uh, some number of electrons are accelerated there, and they are placed in a magnetic field here, and all the systems moving with the bottom and start to come up. And here, uh, for that sort of we, we see so how much it pulled down. Uh, and we want to understand the parameters, the simple parameters. I want to mention that the gear vectors are actually in the parts. So the simple samples. We can be in the shots, most probably in the parameters. So now we want to measure from the parameters of the super, the two frequency, the flux, and the ratio. Typical energy so much related to the parameters. So uh, I would just want uh, all findings that whenever we put the cooling frequency equal to the to the single frequency, we find these parameters. 
uh, in this simple model, <coughs> the very large uh, of the structures, so we can do the basis of this model. For example, very large radii, and we can write here uh, also so it's important that we are not only talking about single number, but also the progressive always talk about uh, cell phone because in a particular case, this region now that we see the cell phone in lab, we can find the large vectors. So these parameters are very weird in a standard scenario. We, we were almost consistent with the upflow because of large gamma, because typically uh, the light was greater. And with a magnetic field, the experiment is larger uh, for different reasons. Uh, also, for the way it's too large, it's almost close to the <coughs> afterglow uh, radius. So, and it's very dangerous. If we are close to the afterglow radius, we just dissipate everything and send a shot because it's more efficient. And we did a massive challenge because we don't have the standards in platforms and situations, and we don't expect it. Therefore, there is a lot of work to be in the uh, in order to reconsider the parameters. It was already done recently by uh, considering very high simulation, but we still need to understand these parameters. So, first <coughs> message is a lot of work in the radical side. We still don't understand what the marginal cost of the system means. Uh, second, and the last point that I would like to make here, is we have future observations and we have also other methods to magnify the physics of the long emission zone. It's a polarization measurement. They also indicate the, the nature of the sort of the rate because part of that is generically the magnetic field structure. And the really can The then for the solution there will be a second extra gamma rays and bands that can allow us to identify the future the highest resolution that we see, and this is very important for the <coughs> our understanding of the uh, moving and dynamic processes in the chat. Uh, further more energy extensions, we will have five field. Uh, missions like this to swarm. Also, we can meet mention optical surveys like LSSD, or we can be lucky enough and see something with the uh, already ground based telescopes like Master or Doctor. So, we can still have a chance to look at the lower. And as, as, as we saw, the lower energy extension is very important. And uh, <coughs> another domain is very high energy. And it's fascinating and future city. As we saw, it's important for studies uh, after the transition of the after the and this is the crucial to understand the problem of the initial region in Europe. Thank you. So in all of these cases, uh, what do you see this break uh, for averages? What do you see for the index of the line? Uh, the, the average marks are exactly the same marks. So minus 0.7, minus 0.7. Minus 0.7. Minus 0.7. This is a predictive thing in the uh, on below. Right. Uh, so the next one is uh, the second question, whether you do see any uh, correlation so, like, you see, uh, are they uh, is small, and this is not an issue, so we don't see the connection between the prey and the. You mean the yeah, No, the Not for. If you look at the optical vision, like, the case of. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, yes. Yes, actually, I will not call this in the next session, but I will anticipate So, uh, So, whenever the optical emission, is straight tracing the dot, it's consistent with synchronon. Whenever we see the afterglow, synchronon under the is allowed for the presence of the afterglow. So we check for this very big. There are no lines between That is why I go one second sometimes, one second something. But we need to measure it just like I need to measure it. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.
So this is a special year for from this from my astronomy. It's only been 30 years of years. This discipline uh, was established about 30 years ago in the 19th generation of the Catholic and then we consider it um, as the um, birthday of the Maya astronomy. This discussion was recorded by the new Jordanica, we know the beginning of the Constellation and the in Arizona, led by the pioneer of the age of the Maya astronomy, which was in 1989, Mr. Rich. And we did the definition of the first, I think, this is not from the GRI in 1914 C. 
In the first time, the second country, as I mentioned, that we, um, uh, we measure a rate of uh, about 100 times the craft nebula. The craft nebula is the strongest source in our galaxy, it's very short. But we have a very gigantic signal, and we have a moment of more about it. So we will be celebrating the 30 years of the ground based very high signal in the two weeks. In the night of the uh, 14th of January, um, I understood the purpose of the rabbit for the observations of the RFM. You can see the rabbit of the observations of the RFM. You can see the patch. And then the uh, masses that so, um, if you look into the reflex, there are a couple of things about the uh, GRPs measured at the TV energy, so I'm going to to look into this. And then the first thing is uh, from the instrument I wrote, uh, this instrument was located uh, um, in the Canada and in the Batona. And we were operating the uh, header of the joint of the system, which is telephone. And then uh, essentially, I think uh, the normalization um, from the GRT 92 on 925C, we were expecting to see 0.9 points while uh, we projected 11 points. And then, uh, when we look into the details, then we find out that um, uh, essentially, the uh, acceleration was uh, about 90 degrees away um, from the uh, signal to the bus detector. And then, if um, you look into the test, I think the uh, uh, days that we're looking at uh, about 20 degrees. So, from the base point of view, probably this was not a signal, this was just a sporadic detection. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, um, evidence is only on the left of the system, but I think uh, 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 this is far, far, far from the system. Then, there is a that is not the nature of 40 meters and 40 meters of collection area. And then uh, today we work in uh, about, uh, about 650 meters, sorry, there should be um, uh, some uh, small signal, uh, for trial propagations again on the left of the signal. But uh, looking into the details, and then I think uh, there was uh, um, there were two publications, especially the second publication, I think we look at uh, so you know, we have a couple of the details. But uh, you can see here um, on this figure, on the x axis, we show the energy, and then on the y axis, we show uh, the spectral density. And um, you look at the picture, and you can see that what the other is taking is at least one or one higher than what you can see in the period of what it is range. And then you have these sounds that are very, very. And the very first is a low energy blast flow, which are measured in the PV range, and all of them are very big with the very explicit program for transients like GRPs, but there's some new sources, you can have to fast radio runs, and all that, and so on. And for another thing I hope, it's one of the detectors, which is just a detective that I'm holding. Uh, we are just a bit of a hundred kilo cube, but uh, for the hour kilo cube, um, we need to have a straight sharing of the uh, telescope. We need to move the telescope very rapidly uh, to be able to touch uh, the hour kilo in the place. And then uh, all our ATPs of the mining operations will still be passed by the three dollar positions of the operation. There are a large number of graphics on the instruments, over 100 by every Collaboration with uh, only, uh, only now only on other units. I will be looking to this uh, different collaboration, which 
And then we have the other geography from Mr. Silva Kennedy, who was important, but he had a small group on that. Uh, but also, we can worry about the independent supply scheme. Uh, we measured the uh, geography of Glasgow in one of those degrees, and then the whole world. Why are there any numbers? Because the only number is the latter. Why is that? Because one of them has to measure the absence of the and then when the moon is up, they can look for more measurements. So I think we can train our telescope for some observations under these conditions, and then uh, we would like to measure this good signal. So I will pass on to this slide. Um, this is a switching of the frame of the GRB in 1901, as you can see. It's a very small signal, it was high on the tree, it's not a bit of 40 minutes. And then, um, um, and energy plus, uh, and uh, we did the soft is to make the deep measure in the component. And then from now on, I think uh, we know that uh, there is a much more energy in the city than in the city plus, at least for this GRB. But uh, we think that uh, this could become an initial. Um, case for most this not for most dead. And then um, this measurement of the program has been given to the community for instruments, different instrument data is shown around, and then other patients will appear so. And then potentially um, uh, measure a second part of the mission, like uh, uh, we, we know from the lasers, uh, the gene spectrum. So, I think uh, if you look at this, this uh, the other was very special, not the most special, and this will have to see absorbing energy in the luminosity, and then you see that uh, if it is not average, but at least uh, um, it's uh, almost average, the other doesn't special at all. If it's red sheet, it's about 0 or 2, and then measure the measurement of the interesting angle GG, and then uh, uh, here you can say that uh, out of the other ratio is no one we tried uh, five year models, uh, more popular ones, and we know how much they uh, um, change our results to the changes of the essentially the models are uh, 50% accurate about the start point here. So we do not think that it is a major issue related to the Very short question. So, in this one, we would like to show how to do it with our group and other designs.
the polarization of situation uh, tells us uh, what is uh, the emission process, uh, what is the region, and uh, uh, how the rate uh, from the table two. The operation uh, starts from September 2016, and it was last only uh, about a half year because of the uh, high voltage supply failure. And considering uh, the turn off between this, this time interval, uh, it effectively uh, observed about uh, four months. So the size of the activities that include uh, the operating uh, measurements and also uh, to consult the O2 operation of that O. So it also was the monitor the GWM. So here, uh, just show you some uh, picture. So this is uh, the detector of quality. It's quite small. It's in dimension, uh, dimension about 30 millimeters. And this is uh, electronics. And this is the space uh, laboratory. Oh, it's very small. It's here. Uh, it's tiny point. And this is our uh, orbit uh, picture. So, uh, how to measure the polarization of uh, uh, high X ray gatherers? Actually, it's quite difficult. We are using the complex scattering uh, principle because, according to the plain sigma formula, uh, scattered uh, uh, Compton photons, the uh, as muscle scattering angle distribution will uh, reflect uh, the incident. Uh, the polarization of the incident against activity is higher uh, in, in the flight. Uh, we find the discovery rate to be more than 100 GMP per year. Uh, effective uh, polarization measurements is about one third of the whole sky. And this is the minimum uh, uh, detectable rate of this uh, perimeter is about 10% uh, uh, in this given brains. Okay, and uh, here I show you the very first camera uh, first detected by Paula. Uh, this is a Paula uh, curve. This is a background subjective curve, and this is a primitive curve. So, uh, because of the uh, uh, the high inclination angle of the uh, space laboratory, uh, the background variation is quite uh, big, quite large. So, uh, in the very Beginning of this uh, instrument uh, operation, we are very really, uh, cautious about the GRT. So we are compare to uh, like other GRT molecules. And this is the first confirmed one. Uh, until now, we already to uh, get the, the uh, calibration down. We are uh, running the calibration uh, campaign of the ESRF. Um, in 2015, and this is uh, the test setup. We test uh, the uh, polar uh, in different incident angle, uh, and uh, here is the uh, calibrated moderation curve, uh, also already produced uh, by the uh, uh, geometry effects that I showed you in the last slide. And this is the close dimensions uh, for this case. So you can see uh, the, the measurements and the close relation are uh, well consistent. Besides, there's uh, another very significant uh, effect for the cross talk uh, because of uh, the city layer. Uh, we will have some related uh, lines will lead to, to other uh, adjacent channels uh, in this end for. Uh, in the PMP end. So we also uh, did a lot of work uh, to uh, capitalize uh, the process of events and uh, get it uh, corrected. Also, uh, we need to confer, convert uh, the ADC channel to energy uh, because we use the PMC layer. Uh, as we know, PMC layer has a very poor energy resolution. Uh, so it takes us a lot of time uh, to get this uh, calibration down. And this is simulated uh, spectrum and it's measured spectrum. And you can see, uh, you can see the big the time integral and the blue one to the, uh, the integral, uh, time integral of the GRB. And this already published in the newspaper. 
Okay, um, this is what uh, Jan, uh, the measure uh, moderation curve is like this. Actually, you can, you can tell this is not very uh, accurate or very, very nice, but uh, uh, we did a lot of work in the simulations. Like this is the authorized uh, uh, gas plus, then um, the uh, uh, moderation curve will be like this. And we change the parameters like the PD means the correlation degree, PA means the correlation angle. Um, so we use certain sets of parameters and compare uh, which uh, parameter fit the measure the best. So we, we're using the Casper uh, statistics and this show you uh, the correlation for this GRP, the correlation degree is quite low here. Um, this is the uh, interval, the correlation. Uh, it will slightly higher. And uh, the most notable feature is that uh, the progression angle changes, uh, which is about 90 degree. And this is uh, the evidence of this kind of phenomena, the progression angle change uh, was first thing in this single pulse uh, GRP, because we know that the gap uh, also reports the progression angle change uh, in, the, in the long GRP, multiple pulses. Okay, I think uh, this is a uh, uh, work uh, on this GRP the time we saw the present measurements. I think Jim Michael will talk this later in more details. Uh, this will uh, basically uh, tells us if uh, the progression angle changes, if that be, it changed 90 degree, then the correlation, correlation may uh, cancel out and you get the low correlation. <laughs> So when you saw the data, you take the polarization and the test between 90 degrees, did you? What's the level of polarization like? Is it over by the two in the two degrees? Um, yeah? Yes. Yes, from, uh, from the first interval, time interval, it has low polarization. But in the tail, kinds of tail, the progressive goes to the uh, higher. <laughs> but I, uh, but I want to question everybody that uh, mm -hmm. the measurement uh, every bar is this because uh, in this uh, in the second part, the statistics statistics uh, is not very really high statistics. So I mean, uh, this uh, first. Um, uh, observation of such feature in the, in the single cost and uh, it's too early to say too much about this kind of feature. We need more measurements. Well, you expect a 90 degree change, for example, if you have a top measure, and uh, uh, that's an area when you're looking close to the You know, since we have not always been there, we can organize uh, lunches for you. So please follow the walk, and uh, we will bring you the food. Uh, so uh, the map, you can find the map on my YouTube channel. So you don't you need to follow, so follow the walk. You have to teach the things. We will meet and say in France with our new city, five or six minutes later. And you will go to the college of sciences, where we will come to the college. Five or six minutes later. 